and I opened the book and it's in the heart and I felt like it was so interesting to cut people open that sounds wrong but you get the point Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Akramwe and today I'm going to be doing a little chit chat all about me. I mean, it's always all about me because it's my channel, but whatever the point, okay? Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I became a content creator full time and I'm going to do this in three different ways. First of all, story time about how I got here. Um, the second portion will be giving you guys tips on how you can find your passion, find your purpose in life and whatever. And then finally, I have a special thanks to give to a certain YouTuber. So yeah, that's how I'm going to do this video. So keep up, try and keep up. I ramble a lot and I know that, you know that, this is not the first ever chit chat video. Y'all know I can ramble. So. Try and keep up, okay? Try and keep up. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so we're, where are we gonna start? I think we're gonna start from the very beginning, right? Little old me. <laughs> I remember, uh, there's a time, I'm not sure at what point, I went out of my school, uh, I think I was very young, very, very young. I think like class one or class two or something. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be sharing this with the 844 system that I know, this new one with the grades and the junior high bullshit. I don't know about it. So I was in class one or two, I'm gonna say. And my school took us to a trip. I don't, I think we went to Wilson or somewhere but that was this tiny plane so it wasn't that like the main um airport i think it was like wilson right um or something or an airstrip we were somewhere with tiny planes choppers okay so i don't know i'm calling them tiny planes they're called choppers right so i got on i have that photo i can't find it because it's along this it's somewhere in this house it's just it's not digital it's hard copy and i remember i i have a photo of me on a plane next to a female pilot and i was so obsessed i was so inspired i was like i'm going to become a pilot i, I if you could have asked me I would, I would say pilot like what do you want to become a pilot um it went on for years and years it never changed i wanted to be a pilot so badly um uh, that came to change very abruptly in high school but you know hold on hold on i'll tell you why so it went one and one i want to be a, a pilot um you see at the top okay growing up i never knew about social media why because first of all I was I never had access to any of it okay um I knew about social media I think when I went to high school that's when I started noticing either the last year of primary like I think 2013 2014 that's when I started knowing um about social media when I was growing up social media wasn't a thing the phone had just come out the cell phone not the phone in general the cell phone has just come out and it has spread all over the world that was in like 2000 and something I think so so before that it was like the landline and the simuya jami i know that because my mom tells me that story all the time the simuya jami it was a terrible time in the universe i mean that was at that time it wasn't terrible it was something new but i'm just imagining waiting for one phone and you have to you know you have to put coins in it to call like that that's just weird to me but that happened when I was born, I was already in the world. I just didn't know the fuck was happening because I was zero years old, right? So, just months, months into this universe. So, that's not the point. That's just a side note, right? So, um, so I never knew about social media and all that. So, that wasn't really a thing. And when I started knowing about social media, it was more like Facebook. I never knew anything about YouTube or I, I didn't know anything about becoming a content creator or I never knew anything about making money as a social media creator content whatever i never knew any of that okay as most of the black and asian children we all know that the only respectable career that you had was either a lawyer a pilot a doctor engineer architect 
chunk tech whatever those are the respectable careers and I was leaving so I was you know pilot because I know that's a standard career that you're supposed to have everything else you are a failure in life right so I grew up knowing that I wanted to become a pilot I wanted to become a pilot I wanted to become a pilot right in class 7 I will never forget okay class 7 is upon us and we're that we're pfft, what my mouth my mouth is moving faster than my brain it's a weird thing so we are that my brain is moving faster than my tongue that's why i have myself so whatever so we're in class seven rather i'm in class seven and we're doing science and i opened the book and i saw the heart and i felt like it was so interesting to cut people open that sounds wrong but you get the point okay not like in the Def jeffrey just called jeffrey Dharma. not in that way and this way where you cut someone open fix them and then close them up and then they get to leave not huh not preserve the skull if you've watched oh my god side rant i have a lot of side rants in this video and side rant right i have night but not really nightmares i watch a lot of true crimes and like all those my mom thinks i'm weird but whatever <laughs> i watch a lot of them but something about jeffrey Dahmer's story was just like the fuck it just got under my skin i'm like child uh uh you know you see this is what i always say okay every single child you give birth to is not a miracle from god it's not okay not every child is a miracle mm -mm. don't ever come in a woman when she says what she doesn't want to have kids and then you start doing growing with the religion right oh my god do you know that god put you on this earth to give birth children are a <laughs> what is it called Miracle from God, whatever, from heaven, whatever, not all of them. Anyway, back to the story, side, friends, over. So I wanted to become a cardiologist. I did not know how much work studying and, 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 and brains that you needed for that. But besides the point, I was like, you know what? I'm going to become a doctor, a surgeon, a cardiologist, whatever. I never failed my KCP actually. I did quite well. I think for me I did quite well. Had like 380 something or whatever. So for me, eh, that was fine. Or was it 370? I'm not even sure. But it was good enough for me to go into a good high school, right? So I went to high school and then I started like my high school, um, it had aviation classes. Although they kinda ended somewhere in the middle. I don't know why, but they had aviation classes. You can choose that uh, uh, as a unit in the next year of school. So we're in Form 1. I'm studying aviation. The teacher who was teaching us aviation was amazing. That boy, child, he wasn't cute or anything, but he was amazing, you know? You know those teachers that you want them to teach you, like you even want to learn from them. He was great. He was fun, given that he was teaching such a hard class such a hard class even in the, at the very beginning he was very amazing right so um, he taught us a whole year perfect and i had decided um when it came to form two time two or is it time one i'm gonna pick aviation right wrong because this teacher decided to leave the school and a new teacher came in who was annoying me to my core child I was like fuck that I ain't taking that and then I think he messed up everything because after that aviation was kind of cancelled so whatever it ain't a problem I think nobody took it because he was so mean like why the fuck are you so mean first of all you the, the subject you're teaching is so freaking hard you need to be friendly but besides the point so I kind of started drifting away from being a pilot because I was taking aviation, but in high school, it's kind of like I want to become a doctor. Um, I want to become a pilot. You know, it was there and there till I realized I'm failing biology and I'm failing physics, and I hate this. So I found a new one. I decided after high school, I'm gonna go to university and do I R international relation, and I'm gonna become a Sorry, I'm going to become a diplomat, an ambassador, whatever, whatever comes from that. And I did not become an ambassador or a diplomat. I did do IR after high school, right? Um, I kind of failed my high school child 
so I couldn't go directly to university and do my degree so I had to do diploma first so I enrolled in the university I went to the university I wanted to they told me they don't have diploma um, options and then they gave me universities and now I get another side rant sorry there gonna be some side rants in this video I realized that this school played me they gave me um options to go to another university that they know i would never continue it so when i'm done i just go back to them they knew that's why they suggested that kind of university and not like major universities that i could have stayed there forever right and finish everything that i have to learn so i went to university so i went over and i started doing my r and then i realized fuck this shit i don't want it anymore goodbye i don't want it bye very political first of all very legal very i don't want to pay attention to this things that i'm not interested in whatsoever so what did i do girl drop out baby girl drop out of school my mom was very mad <laughs> and that's where i found this channel not this channel sorry oh god my eyebrow my eyelashes are itchy that's how i found youtube in the middle of failing school dropping out of campus i found youtube because now we had the internet um in our house not the world the world already had internet my mom put internet in our, in our house um and then we had the digital tv that could see did we yeah we had the digital tv um and everything so now i have access to youtube and then um at that, around, at that time i was turning 18 my mom bought me uh an iphone 8 plus so i had i had the gadget i had the exposure so i started doing youtube i dropped I, I stopped doing it we all i've told this story about my youtube career a lot of times that i feel like this is the one for me child because if i did if i went through the ups and the downs actually i got to my rock bottom with youtube until i deleted the channel that's that's the relationship i have with youtube but i'm not giving up that's how you know this is the one that i have to do this is the one that i've always wanted to do i just did not know until now okay do you get it like have you ever been upset with something and you never really know if it's what you want to do and then eventually you realize the, weird, the reason why you have a weird relationship with it is because that's the only thing you've ever wanted. My relationship with YouTube is the only thing that I ever wanted and now I know that, right? So, okay. I have my ups... My, Y'all, today I'm struggling. I think it's because I'm actually quite tired. Uh, so I have my ups and downs with YouTube. Um, started YouTube, stopped you doing YouTube, started again, deleted the whole channel, started it afresh. And this time we're here to stay. It's either we make it or we make it. There is no other option. Either we make it or we make it, right? So, yeah. Anyway, we're talking about 2019. Um, after I stopped doing YouTube, after I started doing YouTube, I stopped doing YouTube, right? And rolled back to university and started doing communication and journalism. And in communication and journalism diploma, there is a lot of... There's like units that has video production and when i was doing those units and scripting and writing stories i fell in love with film i love the idea of having an idea writing it down filming it well or the finding the best people to do it film it edit and then release the final product like it was nothing but an idea now people are watching it it's a full complete thing so I said I, I I fell I fell so hard for filmmaking um, so that's when I realized that my passion my life is in film and here I am still kind of doing film um I've just finished my diploma so I'm kind of going to when I go to university next year I'm gonna do my degree in film production because you're looking at your future film director stroke producer okay uh, I think that's where everything just merged the reason why I'm obsessed with my YouTube is because I like the filming process meaning I do like the world of filmmaking and I want to become a filmmaker so 
I know this is a video about how I became a content creator, but it's also a video about what I want to be like my career like this is the foundation of my film career my youtube channel I did so many research when I figured that out I did so many researches about you know film schools around the world I have this one it's called Met Film School um in London they have three branches London in, in the UK they have two branches and then they have one in Berlin Germany Berlin is in Germany right yeah yeah we're gonna go with that yeah it's in Germany so and then there's also like Vancouver Film School, uh, there's the NYU, um, New York University Film School, there's the New York Film School. There's so many. Um, even Thailand has like, first of all, South Korea has like the best film schools on the planet. Why? I have no clue. But you see, I started doing the research and then I realized I might not gonna go there with my degree, of course, because I have to do degree here, right? But when I'm going to move forward in my studies for film, like masters or, or more, I'm gonna have to go to an actual film school. So that's the plan for me with my career. And I think that's where everything merges because I can, doing YouTube is like being film, but on a smaller scale. I have to do everything, I have to do the pre production. And the post-production the filming the editing the thinking the scripting although most of my videos are not scripts but they're thought of my my chit chats we're chit chatting so i haven't written anything down right but my weekly vlogs also they're not scripted because it's about the day what the fuck happened that day that's what i'm filming right so i think that that's where everything matched and now I have a goal, I have a purpose, I know what I want, finally, after jumping, hopping, hop, squatching in every single um, career that I could think of, I finally settled and this is what I want to do until I die. This is where I'm going to make my billions from. Child. <laughs> so, moving on, okay. I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna move to the sec to the second part of my of this video and say to you guys when you're finding your career, when you're finding your passion, when you're finding your purpose, fuck everybody else's opinion. It's not your mother's life, it ain't your father's, your sisters, your teachers, ain't nobody gonna tell you what you wanna do. They in your brain. That's not possible. It's not possible for someone to find a career and passion for you. It's not possible. Yes, we're going to therapists to help them discover. Fuck, what do they know? Yes, I know they're going to tell you the things you already know. When you're finding your passion in life, you have to do it yourself. Yes, you're going to take time. I took my time. I feel like most people would say mine came faster because I'm still very young. But it took some time. It took a lot of trial and error it took a lot of dropping out of school it took, it took a lot of stuff for me to finally say you know what this is what i want this is where i like this is where my passion lies. you need to try everything just because your mother said you look like a doctor doesn't mean you want you want to be a doctor doesn't mean you have to be a doctor i have seen so many kids they're in careers because the dad or their mother told them to. For I want to tell people if you want to become a stripper, become a stripper. You want to become an exotic dancer, do that. You want to become an adult filmmaker, do that as well. I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying, disclaimer, I ain't promoting it. I'm just saying. You never know where someone's passion lies. A weird passion, but you never know where they lie, right? So, you do you. As long as you don't turn to Ted Buddy or Jeffrey Dahmer, um, you can do you, okay? <laughs> do whatever you want. That is allowed by the law. And, and, yeah, that is allowed by the law. Don't go around kidnapping people saying, oh, Ekron Amma said, follow your passion. No, girl. I am talking about actual realistic passions. If you want to become a musician, actress, songwriter, do it. Do it, do it. I have seen people make career out of cleaning. Like, there's this girl I follow on YouTube. Um, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know her name. She's made her, her whole career out of cleaning houses for people who are suffering from depression, anxiety, all of that. She goes around 
helping people clean up the houses. The bitch has so many followers and views on, on, on YouTube. She's made a career out of like, out of cleaning if you love to clean. I have seen women who have OCD, men who have OCD, who love to clean. That can never be me. My closet looks like shit. Everything is clean, but it's not organized. Do you get it? So I've seen them make a whole company out of that. I'm like, okay, here's a tea. I'm OCD, I like to clean. What do I do? Let me help other people clean their houses. So I'm going to create a cleaning company. I, you hire me, I clean your house top to bottom, three times a day, five times a week, it doesn't matter whatever you are. So you can make a career out of everything. I always say, everything has a start. Don't get beaten down just because you started too low. There is no shortcut in life. People think there is shortcut in life, but in reality there is no shortcut in life. Someone worked so hard and went through all of that for you to have shortcuts. So someone had to struggle in between. So anyway, that's the point. The point is, whatever passion you have in life, follow it. Find it. It's your own thing. No one is going to help you. No one is going to come to your rescue. It's a you thing. Always be a you thing. Will always forever be a you thing. Find it. It doesn't matter how, how old you are. Vera Wang started her company at well, 40 something. I might be wrong, but she started her company like 40 or something. And it's the biggest brand on the planet. Like when someone says, I'm wearing a Vera Wang wedding dress, Vera Wang, Vera Wang wedding dress, girl, you got money. That's what, that's what people associate with that. You know, Vera Wang is a big brand, very big, massive, Woo! big, okay? Vera Wang, Prada, same thing. When I, when I hear Vera Wang, I'm like, beautiful, expensive wedding dresses I would want to wear if I ever get married. You see, so there is no actual age for you to find your passion. That ain't the thing. Never has been, never will be. You can find a passion at any point. This guy, Colo, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce, Colonel Sanders, the guy who owns, right now, who found KFC. How old is he? In his 50s. So don't get pressured by time, but make sure that this is something you want to do. No one else has influenced you. You've decided you want to do it, so you do it. Okay? Uh, so yeah, that is it. Now, finally, the final segment of this video. I have a couple of thank yous. Or rather, not really thank yous. More like, no, I don't know how to call it. I just want this to recognize some, some people, some YouTubers. I'm sorry if they're all women. Move the fuck along. I got more, most of my inspiration from women. Superwoman Lily Singh, the Canadian Indian um, YouTuber. She does so many sketches and sit down videos. She chats a lot of stuff. That plus Liza Koshi. Those are the women who make me start my YouTube channel. Child, I used to watch them and I'm like, I want to be you. I am not funny, so I'm not a comedian, so it's not going to become a comedian channel. But they gave me a little insight of, of what it's like to be a content creator, what it's like to make YouTube videos. That's why my YouTube is not Kenyan. I'm Kenyan, live in Kenyan, film in Kenya, but it's kind of not in the standards of Kenyans. That's why even most of my views don't ever come from Kenya because it's, it's Kenyans don't get it. Why? I have had the influence of those ladies. Um, she used to live in Canada and now she lives in Los Angeles. Don't ask me how, but I know exactly the house that she lives in. Because it was sold on... Um, um, because it was... Don't, don't, don't send your lawyers to me, girl. Um, it was on Selling Sunset and... I think Chriselle or someone had that house and when I saw Lily post on her on her Instagram I was like bitch I know the house I know it it was sold on selling sunset anyway besides the point um Liza Koshi also was she's lives in US she's from the United States so this are the people who influenced me starting my channel now after they influenced me to start my channel I had a different influence 
when I restarted or when I started this specific channel because y'all know I deleted the other one when I started this specific channel I found a new inspo her name is Lily Singh <laughs> no that's not her name her name is Aaliyah Aaliyah face I don't know what her last name is or whatever but she's called Aaliyah um her and Kira Ominic Ominic Dominic no Aminik. They post weekly vlogs, like 50 to an hour and 20 minutes long, and those became my inspiration for my my channel now. Because y'all know I have a lot of weekly vlogs. I have a lot of chit chats, get ready, I try get ready, and all that. So I have all these videos because I have inspo from amazing ladies who are doing amazing job, amazing work on YouTube. Um, they're just you know they never you never know what you're doing in someone else's life until they tell you so i want to let them know those four amazing ladies that your work on youtube inspired some little girl in kenya she's not little anymore but you get the point you get the gist so yeah that's how i became a content creator and i'm just trying to move on move forward uh i do have the content sorry i do have the weekly vlogs i do have the chit chat and unpopular opinion that i'm just starting chit chat and popular opinion are kind of same thing it's just me rambling about something um the chit chat videos will help you the unpopular opinion i'm just ranting about a couple of stuff and in addition to that i also want to start i have some restaurant tours on my channel as well and then also i want to really focus on my travel vlogs um it's starting child it started i have a couple of places on a hit in nairobi before i even spread my wings out to other counties other countries and the world so i started that as well i have a lot of plans for my youtube channel as i speak I have a lot of goals um uh, and i'm just i'm just ready i think i say i'm just ready i'm ready to see what the world what 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 is what is gonna happen like I want to see how all this is going to unfold because I have a lot of dreams for my channel. So that is all I had for you today. Um, I hope this video was useful to you in any way. Actually, I don't really care in what way, but I hope it was useful to you. Maybe, you know, you enjoyed me ranting or you actually got something or you, you know, you found an inspiration for yourself as well. Irregardless, I just hope it brought something into your life and if it did give this video a like comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join my little family okay uh any of that guys i'm gonna see you in the next video goodbye she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her